one of the very striking things about the Gospels is not only that Jesus preached the kingdom of God is near, according to the Gospels, he um, gave demonstrations of the values of the kingdom in the present. And that is the logic of the Christian faith. Let's live like the kingdom's already here. Justice is coming. Let's practice justice. I used to work for a doctor, but I had to leave my job. I went to the hospital because I was sick. They used an infected syringe, and now I am HIV AIDS positive. From the very beginning, uh, Jesus didn't only proclaim, but he also healed, and he accompanied people, and he included people that society didn't include. And through history, the church has lived out the gospel in that integral way. We don't bring God to the poor, we don't take God out of the poor. God, fortunately, is already active there. I think if you live in the West and you see numbers or thousands of people gathered, you might not understand why they are here and they don't have other options. Both of our parents are dead and I'm the head of the family. I'd like to go to school, but if I do, I won't have time to find any food. I think what we're asking people to do is to go well beyond, um, you know, handing over your petition to your politician with uh, sort of holy belligerence, to actually asking profound questions about lifestyle transformation. God put a dream in my heart to serve our community with a message of hope, truth and love. I didn't fully understand what that meant, but over the years, God's brought a clear understanding of what it means to reach a broken community. And so we feel if we're not reaching out to the broken and the poor, it would be not to be like Jesus. It takes a couple of people who are committed to uh, raising awareness amongst the church community to create that change. That's all it takes. Inertia towards just uh, making your world small and containable enough so you can just survive is understandable. But you've got to rise above that. Stick your neck up above and sort of go, look, there is a bigger world out there. There is needs out there that God wants me to engage in, that Jesus would have done that. Yeah, one of the conversations that we've had as a church leadership and as a church is that we're not just doing social action, is that we're actually bringing good news about Jesus Christ. God gives you the gifts so that the stuff that you enjoy doing may well be the way in which he wants you to, to glorify him in the world. Bible-believing Christians sometimes wonder why social action? Very simply, because we do believe the Bible. Right through the whole of the prophets and Jesus and Paul is this passion for the world. To put simply, as uh, the Lord's Prayer is translated in the message, our prayer is to set the world right. That's what Jesus did. That's what we're called to follow.